All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Google Dynamics search ads. So when you're creating Google ads campaigns, one of the options for search campaigns is creating dynamic search ads, which actually use your website content or a custom page feed to target your ads, to create advertisements and really deliver relevant experiences for people. So I would highly recommend before we get started is checking out our Google ads tutorial for beginners for 2019. Uh, it's where we went over how to create a regular search campaign targeting keywords. We also went over how to link your Google Analytics account, how to upload conversions. So we're not going to go through that in this video. Um, so I highly recommend checking that video out first if you're not familiar with all of that. Um, so just to get into dynamic search ads, you have two basic options. You can either use Google's index of your website or you can upload your own page feed. You can also use a combination of both, but I'm going to go through them separately. So the first thing to get started is you're going to open your Google Ads account and you're going to look at a screen like this and you want to come to your tools up at the top and you want to click on business data under setup. So when you click on business data, it's going to open up a page that looks like this. So what we've done is we uploaded a farmhouse goals page feed. You can do that by clicking right here, clicking on page feed. When you click on that and it's going to open a page, it's going to allow you to download their template. So basically the template looks like this. So it's going to say page URL and there's you can enter all your page URLs here and then you can enter custom labels so we just did blog post blog post product and I'll show you how to update your page feed within Google Ads as well so coming back into Google Ads what we did was we uploaded that page feed so it's gonna look just like this you can rename it when we click on it it's gonna show the different page URLs here and there's gonna be custom labels as well so we've added more custom labels to these page URLs so all you need to do when you click on custom labels is just click on add value and you can enter as many values as you want here um, we're just going to keep this as blog post and syncs to keep it very simple for right now. Click on save. So we have a product down here. It just says products Christmas, blog post furniture, blog post dining furniture, and furniture. So you can create broad categories. You can create very targeted categories. And you're going to be able to use these in your advertising. So if you want to add another URL, all you need to do is click on add up here. Enter a page URL. So we'll come over to farmhouse goals. This is the website we're going to be using and come back over here we can enter our page URL you can enter a custom label so we could do blog post we can do add value I can do accent furniture so you want to make sure your labels actually match with all the other labels if you want to create categories of products and then you can also just add a value and I could do something like trunks if I just want to target trunks by itself you don't have to do all uppercase here I'm just doing that because that's what the example showed so we're going to click on save here so now you can see we have a new URL in our page feed and it's going to be under review so it might take 24 hours to review and approve this we uploaded this yesterday and we're approved today um, so coming back over to Google Ads now what we can do is create our dynamic search ads campaign so first you want to click on create a new campaign you're going to choose search from the campaign type you generally want to do sales or leads when you're choosing a goal um, I have my conversion set up as sales so I'm going to click on sales here um, you could do leads if you have it set up like that. I don't usually recommend creating campaigns that just send website traffic. You really want to be optimizing for a conversion to get the most out of your budget. So select the ways you'd like to reach your goal. We're going to choose website visits and you want to enter your website here as well. Okay, we're going to click on continue. So now we have our campaign name. So I'll just do dynamic search ads example. Now a big thing is make sure you're just including the search network and Google search partners. I never use display network with search network campaigns. I create display network campaigns completely separate. Uh, we just did a Google display ads tutorial if you're interested in that. We also did a Gmail ads tutorial, uh, which is another part of the display network. So if you're interested in anything on the display network, we have separate tutorials for that. I highly recommend checking them out if you're not familiar with it already. So next, this is where you create dynamic search ads and you can click here. It's not going to opt in automatically. So you need to click on enable dynamic search ads for this campaign. It's going to say enter the domain. So we already entered it when we were creating our campaign. So farmhousegoals.com, it's going to say select the language of the dynamic search ads. So we're going to choose English here. And now here's where you can select a targeting source. You could either use Google's index of your website or use URLs from your page feed only or a combination of both. So I'm going to show this to you separately just so you can see what it looks like. So we'll start with using Google's index of our website. So we click on use Google's index. Now there's some more settings here, start and end dates. You can do campaign URL options if you want. Location targeting, we're just going to keep it as United States. You can update locations here. Languages, so you can enter all the languages your customers speak. Audiences, so we're going to do a separate tutorial about targeting audiences within your search campaign. So that's just something to keep in mind that you can do. Um, make sure you Stay on the lookout for that tutorial because we're going to be doing that one shortly. 
So next is budget and bidding, so how much you want to spend each day. So just enter your daily budget here. Um, I've talked about this in other videos before, but generally what you want to do is take what your monthly budget is and then divide it by 30. So let's say, for example, your monthly budget is $900. You divide it by 30. You can just enter $30 here, and then you'll spend $900 about for the entire month. So depending on how much you want to spend each day is going to be what your budget is. And I generally tell people to look at it like a monthly budget and divide it by 30. Now bidding, I always say you want to focus on conversions, like I talked about earlier, so sales or leads. So we just want to say focus on conversions. Um, you could do conversion value as well. So if you want to do a target return on ad spend, we can do something like that since we have sales set up and we have a conversion value set up for our conversion. Again, we went over that in our Google Ads tutorial. So let's just say my target return on ad spend. For now, I just want to break even and we'll hopefully improve it as the campaign goes. So show more settings so you can do an ad schedule or select a different ad rotation. I generally just keep this as is. Um, so site link extensions, call out extensions, call extensions, every ad extension. We're going to do a separate tutorial about this. Uh, I really just want to focus on creating dynamic search ads, but you do want to create ad extensions for your dynamic search ads campaign and really any search campaign that you're running. So we're going to click on save and continue now. And just remember at the top we selected enable dynamic search ads here, and we're going to use Google's index for this part of the example. So we're going to click on save and continue. Okay, so now it's going to show ad group type is dynamic, ad group name. So you can name your ad group whatever the category is based on. So since we're using Google's index, this is what it's going to look like. So basically, it's there's 17 categories here. They have wall decor. And if we click on wall decor, the main category is farmhouse wall decor. If we go over preview, it's going to say a search that would trigger our ad is farmhouse wall decor, the landing page farmhousegoals.com, product category farmhouse wall decor. So really relevant. So dynamic search ads tend to be pretty relevant. Um, so what we can do is select this as our first target. And you want to separate your targets out into different ad groups the same way you would set up a normal search campaign. And then we'll just name each ad group to match whatever the targeting is. So now we can click on to new ad group here. Now the other option you could do is specific web pages. So you could use exact URLs. You can create rules to target web pages. So I could do something like URL contains syncs and then any URL that contains syncs in the URL. So just to look up here for an example. So this would match since it says farmhouse syncs here. So farmhouse copper sync. So this would match as well. So anywhere it says syncs in the URL just like that, it's going to be able to use in our targeting. So we could just do URL contains syncs and that's it. And I could do add group two farmhouse sinks. Now we could do a new ad group again and we could do all web pages. So if you do all web pages, it's going to target every single web page within your website. So you can do this and just set your bids very low to begin um, so that you're not bidding higher on the all web pages portion. I generally don't do all web pages unless you have a huge budget and you're working with a client that has basically an unlimited budget and they're trying to get the most out of it. Um, but usually I'll just use specific web pages or the categories recommended for my website, but I just want to show you this option here. Um, so we'll do one more category here. So if we click on tables, it's going to give us a few different options. So tables, table legs, sofa tables. So we'll use end tables here. And for a preview, it's going to say rustic farmhouse end tables, and it's going to be going to a specific product on our page. So maybe not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so if I come over to console tables, you can see it's going to go to farmhouse console tables. Console tables farmhouse is a Google search that would trigger our ad. And this is what the advertisement will look like. So we'll do console tables. It seems a little bit more targeted for this. And we'll do. OK, that's it. Now we can click on save and continue. So now it's going to tell us to create advertisements. So for advertisements, all you need to do is enter a description one, a description two. You can enter ad URL options like tracking templates or final URLs, different things like that, a suffix onto your final URL if you're using different tracking. Um, we're using auto tagging, so we're tracking everything into Google Ads, but some people like to track things into mobile, multiple analytics suites so you can get a lot of information out of your campaigns. But we're just going to keep this no ad URL options for this tutorial. Now, the final URL is going to be dynamically generated based on the search, the headline dynamically generated headline, and the display URL will be dynamically generated as well. So you don't need to set up anything with your URLs or your headline. All you need to do is enter two descriptions. So we have farmhouse wall decor here. So we'll just enter a couple descriptions here 
Okay, so we entered a couple descriptions here. Discover the top rated farmhouse wall decor for your rustic home. Description two, find farmhouse wall decor, including wall art, wooden signs, mirrors, and more. We can click on done. So that's gonna create a new advertisement for our farmhouse wall decor ad group. Now we can do the same thing for sinks and for console tables. So really what you wanna do is make sure you're creating at least three advertisements for each ad group here. Um, so we're gonna to wanna to do that for each of the ad groups. Okay, so you want it to look something like this, but obviously you want to create better descriptions. I just put sample description here. Um, so you want to create descriptions like I did for the first advertisement. Create three ads per ad group, and all you need to do is once you have your ad group set up, click on save and continue, and it's going to create your campaign. So it's really as simple as that to create a dynamic search ads campaign. Now that was the example using the Google index. Um, so if we click on continue to campaign, I'm just going to come up here and pause it real quick because I don't want this campaign to run. It's not really set up really too well, but you do want to make sure you set it up like that and make sure you have three ads per ad group. Your descriptions all match the targets that you set for your dynamic search ads campaign. So we're going to click on pause for now. So if we click on create a new campaign, come to search again. So, you know, choose what your goal is. So we're going to do sales, do website visits, farmhousegoals.com. So same exact thing, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're using your page feed. Um, so like what we talked about earlier here. So if we click on continue, so again, search network, dynamic search ads, example two. Okay, so now we can scroll down. We can click on dynamic search ads here, enable dynamic search ads for this campaign, use the URLs from your page feed only. Now you can select to use both, um, but it really depends on what you wanna do. Um, so if you wanna just create a campaign, use URLs from both Google's index of your website and your page feed. So that's generally what I would do, but I'm just gonna show it to you separately so you can see really the benefits and how it differs for each of them. Um, so we'll select our page feed here. You can upload multiple page feeds if you want. You really don't need to generally. Um, then we'll just scroll down through some of these a little bit. So budget, we'll do $10 per day. So we just have maximized conversions, bid strategy set, and we'll click on save and continue. Again, you want to add the ad extensions, but I just want to go through this for you. So now it's going to say custom labels from the feed. So this is where all your labels come in here. So custom labels. So I could do something. If you start typing, they'll generally start showing up. So you could do blog post, and that would target all of my blog posts really not the greatest ad group to be completely honest. Um, so if we go over here, you can see we have sinks, we have accent furniture. So I'll just use those two as the example. So we'll do sinks. So we'll click on add. So now it's gonna choose its dynamic ad targets as sinks. Our ad group name one would be farmhouse sinks. It might still be a little bit broad. You might wanna kinda narrow it down a little bit more, but we'll click on new ad group. So custom label. Let's do accent furniture, click on add. So we'll do farmhouse accent furniture. And then maybe we wanna do one more. We'll just do Christmas down here. So we can enter more products for Christmas. So this is just farmhouse Christmas ornaments. So any of the Christmas content on our website that we wanna advertise, we can enter that here as a page URL and just enter the custom label of Christmas. Okay, so we'll create a new ad group here. So we'll do farmhouse Christmas decor and we'll enter Christmas as our label and click on add. So you could also do the same thing we showed in the previous example. So you could add specific web pages. You could enter exact URLs here. So just come up here and copy and paste the URL if you want to target that. Or you could use the rules like we showed where you enter something like syncs or any type of URL that's going to really match for what you're trying to target. Um, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep this as Christmas. We have farmhouse Christmas decor. Our dynamic ad target is Christmas. So farmhouse accent furniture, our dynamic ad target is accent furniture and farmhouse sinks, dynamic ad target of sinks. So sinks is gonna pull in any of these labels for sinks. It's gonna start targeting these URLs and it's gonna target search terms that match these types of URLs. So farmhouse sinks might end up being kind of broad, but farmhouse copper sinks should match anything that kind of includes those types of keywords. Uh, so rustic copper sinks, it might match. It might be farmhouse apron front copper sinks. So different things like that will send traffic to this page. So we come back over here, we can click on save and continue, and it's going to tell us to create some of our ads. Now, the main thing I want to go through when you're creating a dynamic search ads campaign, so we'll use the other campaign as our example. We'll just X out of this one for now. Okay, so it actually created it, so that's fine. Um, it's not going to run or anything because we haven't set up ads for it yet. But the main thing I want to go over is setting up negative keywords. So it's going to say here, three ad, three ad groups missing dynamic search ads, so that's fine. 
So if you click on farmhouse sinks in the ad group, it's going to say dynamic ad targets, custom label equals sinks. Now the main thing I would recommend doing is entering negative keywords for, for some very broad terms. So you don't just want your ads to show for any keyword that includes sinks. So you might want to enter some negative keywords for each ad group. Maybe you just want to add it to the campaign level because it doesn't really make a difference whether it's just for this ad group or the entire campaign. So I would enter some negative exact match keywords like sinks, kitchen sinks, you could do sinks for sale. So with farmhouse Christmas decor, maybe you just want to get rid of Christmas. Christmas decor. So what's going to happen when you first create your dynamic search ads campaign is it's going to show for a lot of more broad keywords than you might not want it to show for. So I'd highly recommend checking out your search terms report pretty regularly. So you could just click here for search terms. And if you click on the campaign, it's going to show your search terms all time for this campaign. So if we just look at the farmhouse goal search campaign we created recently, if we click on that and click on search terms, Here's the, key, here's the main search terms that our ads are showing for. So farmhouse sink, rustic farmhouse dining table, farm table dining set, copper farmhouse sinks. You can see it matches to a good ad group. So these keywords are very broad for what we're targeting. So these are completely fine for our search terms. However, when you're creating dynamic search ads campaigns, you're going to start getting a lot of more broad keywords. And broad keywords generally don't convert as well as these really targeted keywords do. So that's basically dynamic search ads campaigns, some of the different options you have. You can create a page feed if you want. You can use Google's index of your website, so it's really up to you. Um, but I highly recommend trying them, testing them, making sure you keep a close eye on the search terms report so you can add negative keywords when they start to come, when really unrelevant keywords start to show up, keywords that are a little bit too broad for what you're trying to target. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching our video today, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.